success and what success means. Success is a media term. Success means if you close your eyes you think, oh, lots of medallions, big sports cars, yachts, everything else. We've been painted a picture of what success looks like. But actually, success is a very personal thing. Success can be very small things. And what I found from the kiting is people will come along and they say, yes, I would like to ride like the world champion. And that, that's fine. It's a goal. And that's a good goal to have. It's an ambition. But to get to that ambition, you need to have a series of steps. Now, in kite surfing, there is a syllabus which is laid down to actually certify and tick off a number of steps so you can actually get to the point of actually nothing to start with to being what they call an independent rider at the end. In fact, I mentioned and I my, my business labelled the courses from zero to hero, which I thought was an apt uh, explanation of actually what they would then achieve. So, the symbols is there to give small steps and each step is a success and then on that success you build and you get the next acquired skill and then the next one each one of those actually forms a part of a chain that if you miss out one part of the chain then actually your learning will actually not be a straight line it will you will struggle so it's the same thing in life small successes actually will lead to other success Everyone loves that feeling of the winning goal. If your team scores the winning goal, the winning touchdown, the winning run, or whatever, you have that euphoria feeling. That is what success feels like. It is important to actually realize what success feels like. So it's fine to have your goal. It's fine to have your dream. Nothing wrong with that. In fact, people should be encouraged to have their dreams. But you do need the ladder of successes to get to that. One of the big problems about Mr. Sports Person is that he thought he could just completely just inherit success and drop it into this sport. It's not that case. In the case, you have to actually be successful and complete the steps in that area. It's the same in business. If, in fact, you want to actually say, for example, you say, you may say, it's a success if, I, if, I'm, allowed, if I'm around a business in one year's time. People say, well, that's not a success. Well, actually, there is 80% small businesses fail every year. So actually, that means you're in the small 20%. That is a success. So actually, do not underestimate what the success is. Then, once you've actually said, okay, I've survived, it may be I want to do this, I want to build on that. But it's important to actually redefine success in a manageable and achievable thing for you individually. It may be talking to a girl, a success may be actually crossing that horrible distance between them at the disco. The rest will take care of itself, you're either going to win or not, but it's success. You have to measure the short-term things. So then if you do fall over, and you will fall over because that's part of it, you can at least say, well, at least I did this much. So you're not going all the way back down to ground zero. You're falling maybe just one step down. And you can practice that step and then go back to that the, the, the step you're struggling with and you can achieve that. I certainly learned that when I had to try and learn new tricks where actually you would fall over because you're doing something which is new and it's outside your comfort zone and eventually when you practice what you're good at and you start pushing it further and further, finally you land that trick you were after. And that feeling of, oh, it was so worth it because of all the, the failures and the, the crashes I had, but they weren't failures, they were just ways of actually showing you that it wasn't right to do that. So keep going with success, keep it. It's something which is a momentum. So I'm gonna leave those thoughts with you. Hopefully you found something interesting in that and anyone who wants to do kite surfing, I thoroughly recommend it. It is the best feeling in the world. Well, it's one of the best feelings in the world. And uh, if you want to do that, please go and see one of your reputable uh, kite surfing centers and I'll see you on the water.